Hey what's up guys Bob here and uh, today I'm going to show you how to improve your character model uh, texture in uh, Photoshop CS6. Uh, I guess it works for CS4 to CS6. Uh, I didn't test it but I guess it works since you don't have to use much and pretty much all the effects that you need to use were there back in CS4. So uh, yeah let's get started. So first off uh, what I want to do is um, just improve the general um, surrounding area of my character which is pretty easy all you have to do is go on your layer character uh, your, your layer your character layer sorry <laughs> and uh, you duplicate it with control uh, J or you can just right click and duplicate there's a lot of way to do that so uh, yeah just figure out a way so yeah there we go now you have two layers of your character and all you have to do now is go into filter on top here and going to blur, select a golden blur here. So what it's gonna do is add this glowy effect on one of your layer, which is the, the one on the bottom behind your first character layer on top. So it adds it add like this little glowy effect, which make the surrounding area of your character less with less pixels around it, so it looks just more natural and it looks better instead of just sharp edge and stuff because you know when you remove the green screen sometimes it, le it lets like some some sharp edges and it just looks bad so yeah so if you just do that it will improve already a lot of your character and then you just click ok when you just like play with the blur settings i'm not putting a lot of it so i just i don't want to make it look like it's glowing i just want to make it look like you know it's not sharp edges just like that so around between four and nine it's pretty good over over nine it's starting to glow too much so yeah and then you go on your um, first your nut blur uh, layer and uh, you're gonna add some effects on the bottom here uh, you select the effects uh, button here and you're just gonna add some um, bevel and impose right there so you just play with the settings. I had a hand or a bevel. I'm just playing with the size and the depth. Soften. Did a lot of soften. I softened a lot. I just want to make it looks like there's some light on it. So it's it's not much of a difference, honestly. Just that. Actually, I'm just gonna reduce it a little bit. There you go. So this is like a small difference, but I still want to add it because it's better than nothing. And then I'm going to add the effect, the stroke effect here. I'm not going to add a lot of that. I'm just going to reduce the size to one and re even reduce the opacity to almost like 40, yeah, for around 40%. Just to make like a little black um, line around my character, just to reduce the pixels and stuff. And it's gonna blend with the, the blur effect that you've put earlier, so it doesn't doesn't seem like there's a, a, lot, a black line around it. If you put like the the, the one on the size and the and 40 around 40 and 50 percent of the opacity. So yep, then you just do that, and um, already you're pretty much done. Um, all you have to do now is to go here and adjustment on top here. If you don't have this panel, it's pretty simple. All you have to do is go into Windows here on top and just select adjustment here. So if you don't have it, it's going to look like this. Then if you just go here, adjustment, there you go. You have some cool effects. Um, all right. Now what I'm going to add is the gradient map. I'm just going to add this and see what it does. It does like here. Yeah cool color thing around my character and on pretty much all my layers here but I don't want this all I want is um, this the black and white uh, effect here so you just select this where the color is you just select it and you're gonna select the pre and uh, preset here you select it it's kind of black and white like that and all you have to do is go into the the layer mode here and select overlay now as you can see it looks already pretty badass like 
the texture is already improved a lot and all you have to do now is to reduce the opacity of your layer reduce it to around between 40 and uh, sometimes 70 it depends honestly on the color of your your character there's a lot of black and dark yeah, color on this character so um, yeah I'm just gonna put like 40 we should be good all right so now I'm just gonna show you the difference between like the beginning and the end so this is at the end how it looks and this is without all the effects see there's a big improvement so if you add all the effects like that it looks a lot better so yeah it improves a lot the texture and it just makes your character almost look like a 3d model which is pretty cool and uh, you can even add some more gradient map uh, color you can just go in, in here and change the color for like dark red and uh, I don't know Oops. just some um, I don't know, dark blue, maybe because there's some dark blue on the, you know, on the character. So we should just reduce it. Remove the background. You can improve the, you can improve your color, your color, and it gives some cool effects. So um, yeah, I'm gonna show you uh, some picture now of uh, what it looks like when you, you put some effects plus the these effects on the wallpaper and that's pretty much it for the tutorial so I hope you've enjoyed it I hope you, uh, you it's gonna help you and if it did uh, just thumbs up the video and comment on it and just tell me if I need to explain a little bit, a little bit more in details what I'm doing if I did it too fast and um, yeah so I'm gonna do some more tutorial in the near future and uh, yeah as always Bobo here and I wish you a nice day